Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we are going to create a powerfully designed slide in PowerPoint. I want you to focus on your message. I want you to bring your message to life on any sort of slide. So take the principles in this tutorial and apply it to any message that you want. In my case, I'm gonna go with something to do with money. This is going to be one of the easiest things you're ever gonna do in PowerPoint. And with that, let's get started. Step one, set up the slide. This one's really easy to do. Right click on anywhere you want on the slide, click on format background, change the color to black, and you are good. Then go to insert, click on text box, draw out your text box here and put out your message. The message I'm going for is that you're leaving money on the table. We're gonna type in, you're leaving first, right? And we're gonna make this white so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make everything uppercase and I'm gonna change the font size to around 60 and center it. Cool. Then I'm going to click on this text box, press control shift, drag one down here and type in money on the table. I'm gonna increase the size of this, the width of this, and then increase the size of this to around 66 points. Huge, center it. And then it's just a matter of bringing that up here. Like that, I think that looks good. Grouping it up, moving it here, and we are good to go. Let's add an exclamation mark just for emphasis. Bam! Cool, on to the next step. Step two, bring in your picture. The picture I'm gonna be using is a PNG. We're talking about money, right? So we're gonna bring in this picture over here. This is what I hope to achieve one day with SlideCow. I realized that maybe putting this picture in the middle like this, you know, and putting it over here and calling it a day isn't enough, okay? We have to be creative. So what I'm gonna be doing is pretty simple. I'm gonna click on this picture. I'm gonna press on Control Shift and just move it to the right over here. I'm then going to click on Arrange, uh, Rotate and Flip Horizontal and bring this up a bit, all right? And then I'm going to move this and bring it to the front. And that way what we're having, what we're trying to achieve here is a bit of photo manipulation, right? So we're just resizing images, re moving them around to make it seem like it's actually one image, but in reality, all we're doing is like stacking numbers and making things look different. I see some gaps underneath here that I wanna take care of. And to do that, all I have to do is bring this here, group it up, Range, rotate, flip, vertical, move this up here, send to back, okay? So now what you guys are gonna see is something that looks like this, right? And it's just a matter of tweaking it. So now you can see that the, you know, the, the, the pictures are stacked, there's so much money on the table, it's awesome. And remember, you're gonna be tweaking a lot here, right? You just wanna make sure that you get the right fit for this. Now we have an image that speaks volumes about what you're trying to say, but there's still some more that we could do with this. We're gonna move on to the next step and you're going to be amazed with what a few creative details can do. Step three, add your creative details. This is where things get fun. There are two things we're gonna do here. First thing is we're gonna add in a fade effect, right? We're gonna add in a fade effect to the slide itself. And to do that, I'm going to duplicate this slide, delete everything on it. And I'm gonna to go to insert, click on shapes uh, and draw a rectangle that looks like this, all right? Um, I'm also going to remove the outline. I'm going to click on shape fill over here, click on gradient and click on this one, which is basically linear up, okay? From there, I'm gonna look at the right side here. Under gradient stops, I'm gonna delete the second stop here by clicking on this button, remove gradient stop. I'm going to make the first gradient stop black and the second one black as well. But the second one, it's going to have a transparency of 100%. And the reason why I did that is, well, you'll see, right? If I paste it here, that's why I did that. Because if you open that up now, you notice that the money's sort of fading into the slide and that's the effect that we're going for. And that's what makes this look amazing. So I feel really that I can go for a bit darker so I can copy and paste that. I can bring it over here and I'm going to make this one smaller, right? So I have two like this and then check this out. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. Bring this down a bit like this. And I can bring this down a bit like this, right? And I'm thinking of adding a little bit of creative detail to the text here under theme colors, click on eyedropper. Okay, so you might notice that you might not get the best yellow over here, 
Um, so what I would do is I would basically right click on the picture group that we had, bring it to front, highlight it, click on eyedropper, move down, find the brightest yellow that you can, right click, send to back. But let me see what happens if I delete the second one. Yeah, I think that looks good as well. So it just depends on your preference, really. Look how easy it is to create a slide, right? That talks volumes about your message using just a picture and six words. All you had to do was use one picture, move it around, manipulate the entire picture, bring in some text, color in a few words, and you're good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for me this week. I will come up with another tutorial to show you guys next week. There are some big, big plans for SlackCal this year. I guarantee you that we're actually in the middle of a website redesign again, but there's a good reason for that. I can't wait to share that with you. There is also another product coming up. Can't reveal what that is yet, but it is coming up soon. All right? So I will see you guys later. This is YoYo signing off. Bye-bye.